Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonnet Television. I am joined today by this young gentleman. I happen to be Chris. And we're here to talk about something that's literally come into the studio today. It's a brand new product from the gang over at Sound Off Signal. It is their brand new Enforce LED traffic arrow. That's what I'm holding here in my, in my hand. As you can see here, it is a interesting design product. I'm going to turn it sideways for a second here. It's a sort of an oval shaped unit. It is aluminum based both top and bottom. It even has the word bottom written there. You can, you can clearly see that. I took it that way. There you, go. you can see it there. It's named people like myself to know where to do things. But the Enforce technology that's inside this unit here, if we can get uh, one of the cameras to zoom in and be able to see it, you've got your diodes mounted on the bottom area that then in turn diffuses the LED diodes up into a reflector, which then pushes it out in a very poignant and potent way. Lots of P's in there. So Chris, tell us what is the part number of this particular product? Part number for this wonderful unit right here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat nice little sticker right here for me. It is quite a mouthful. It is the ENFTCDGS1208. And he did that without moving his lips. Now the interesting thing also about this unit as well is you can mount this on the back deck of a vehicle. That's correct. Um, exterior use or interior use as you mentioned. So for the back deck, so for a sedan or for SUVs. So with that, do you mind holding on to this for sure. me here for I'm a quick second? And you will also be able to get it, this was obviously an eight module. Yes. Correct. Okay. And you will be able to get this also as a four module as well. The tech specs will be available on the website and we will also have some installation video coming up as well. So We do. We actually had a chance to sneak one of these into a Tahoe that we've put together. So you'll get a chance to look at it in the back of the Tahoe, nice and potent in all its colors and functionality. But with that, because many of you at home and myself here too, a little curious as to the exact size of this unit here. So with that, you mind holding the end of the tape there sure. for me? So as far as the fit goes for needing to get this into your application, into the housing to the end of the housing there, exactly 35 inches. To allow for the harness here for some flexibility and movement to route it, go ahead and give yourself 36 inches. And if you don't believe me, we'll go ahead. I know it's upside down, but folks at home can go ahead and read that there. So 36 inches, pretty compact. So with that, decks, hatches, really anywhere in your application, it'll go ahead and fit. As far as the size goes, it's a nice compact thin unit, but the potency is absolutely wonderful. But with that in the back, less as far as its size goes, so with that more visibility out of the back window. So as far as your height on the back of the unit here, where the slide bolt extrusion goes, I'll go ahead and show you that there. From you're the all practicing your bottom to the top, morning. you're gonna be looking in about inch and a half. And then if we flip it over top to bottom here, Gonna go ahead and make this easy so I can see it. <laughs> oh, you want to make it easy? Around, Sorry. It must have been oh, easy. wonderful. Well, the folks at home can see it, but I need to make sure I check in the tape here as well. Two inches. So from the top to the bottom, two inches for your height. So again, very compact, easy to clear in the hatch or on the rear deck. Now again, as Chris said, you can mount this both interior or exterior, and as I said earlier, it will be available in a four module as well as the eight module. So. Let's turn it on and see what the colors are going to look like. But before we do that, Chris has taken out the controller. So I'm going to put this down here and let's have a chat a little bit about the controller. So the control module here, it's really a little data breakout box. So the harness here will tie in to the harness inputs here. I know it looks a little intimidating with the lots of trigger wires, but with the useful install guide that SoundOff provides with this wonderful Enforce Traffic Advisor, you'll be able to take these wires, tie them into the controller, so you'll have the easy functionality that it offers. So warning and traffic advisor, but we'll show you that in the application here shortly. Now one other thing too, as Chris mentioned, with respect to the actual manual, which is always important to read, uh, SoundOff does give a comprehensive detail, I'm gonna flip it over here, to another page in a second here, shows you with respect how to mount it. So again, you're getting lots of instructions there. 
also, which is nice as well, if I flip over another page, uh, SoundOff does show you, with respect to their actual individual siren amplifier units, you've got the ability to connect it by following very clearly and well-written instructions on that. Destructions? Instructions on this particular page. So that's why we just keep the cameras rolling. So I kind of like it, though. You like it? Good. I like it. Good. I like it. I think Chris we got a new it must one be here. Good. So, and since, well, yep. sorry, one thing, throw this in really quick since you just mentioned it here, tying in the programming and the mounting, the unit does include a set of L brackets, as you can see here, it comes with a little three pack. So with that, you can go ahead, get yourself started for your install. So these will affix onto the slide channel on the back and in turn onto the deck, onto the hatch, headache rack, wherever you need it to go. So really nice when it comes with the mounting hardware here for you. Are you going to be able to fire it up? Well, I think instead of that, why don't we go ahead, take it outside, put it in the SUV, and we'll show the folks firsthand exactly how it fits and how it looks with all its wires connected up to a nice sound off controller, and we'll display it from there. Well, that's what Chris would like to do. But instead, and we will do that later, we're going to go across the studio to where Chris takes things apart and have him go ahead and plug this in, and let's take a look at it. So why don't you head across over there, I'll pack up everything else, and we'll be heading over there shortly. With the Enforce bar over here in my area of the studio, and the unit and its breaker box connected to 12 volts, so grounded, and on the positive side as well, I'm gonna go ahead, connect some trigger wires from the breakout box to positive 12 volts to go ahead and light up the Enforce traffic advisor here. As Stuart and I have mentioned, install guides included. So with that, your grounds and your leads for connection will be specified. But really, we're gonna go ahead, get into the fun here of this unit. Go ahead and take a harness here. And this harness is four wires that I've connected together. And this is gonna operate the entire traffic advisor. So what's neat is the lights inside, the total of eight, everything operates as a pair. So this pair here, 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 and the dead center. So with that, I'll go ahead, take the four triggers, put them to a positive 12 volts. As you can see, unit comes alive, nice and bright. I've gone ahead and set the pattern mode on the Enforce bar already. So with that, I've set color change between red and blue on the inboard side here. The outers I've left as a standard blue flash setting. So just blue here, no reds. And in the dead center, you can see I've mixed the three colors. So blue, red, and amber are displayed as well. If you'd like to break the unit down a bit in its flashing, so rather than having the whole thing on and going as you see here, you can go ahead, break up the trigger wires. So for example, I'll go ahead, take one, and that'll isolate the in blues. And again, these are just programmed to only flash in blue, but with the Enforce bar and its programming, you as the end user can set it to be any color display that you wish. So disconnect that. I'll take another trigger wire here, activate another set. So this is the inboards, dead center, and these, again, I've set for all three colors. So as you can see, blue, red, and then amber fires away. Not only does the unit offer warning, but traffic advisor mode as well. So with that, two trigger wires will activate the TA function for you. Purple and gray here. So what I can do is apply one to positive 12 volts. The unit will pan as appropriate. The other trigger wire pan the unit in the opposite direction, so left and right control, and activate the two wires together and the unit splits from the center outward. So as you can see here, the Enforce Traffic Advisor, Amber Display, Warning Display, and it's all programmed by yourself as the end user to suit your application. Well, there we have Chris showing us how it all goes together in the studio. And as Chris said earlier, we will be going outside and taking a look at it in the Tahoe shortly. Nice product. I like it. Yeah. I'm excited. It's very good. useful. I think it's going to be a great seller. It's available here on Sirenet. It's available from the gang over at SoundOff. It is part of their Enforce technology product range, which they're continuing to expand. So look forward to lots more interesting and exciting product coming from them with regard to that. 
I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. Again, many thanks for watching Sinet Television.